Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Asterix Solution. This video, we are going to find out the number of consonants and number of vowels in a given string. Now, vowels, as you know, are A, E, I, O, U, and all the other characters in your alphabets are called as consonants. So, for given any word, what I am trying to do is I am going to run a loop and start from each character, try to put them in a loop. Check out whether these guys, that particular alphabet, not guys actually, it's an alphabet. So that alphabet is actually a consonant or a vowel. So let's dive into it and start working on it. Yeah. So, okay, I'm writing a new class by name vowel consonant and give a simple public static void mean in it. Uh, my program started. Let's say my string S is equal to internationalization. This is the biggest word I can remember. Now I need to loop it. I have to take out each and every character, check it against whether this particular thing is, contains vowel or my consonant. So just for my safety check, what I'm going to do, this is always a better option to convert your whole string into a similar case. So you can get rid of case sensitivity. So to lowercase int L is equal to S dot length. So I've got the length now and now I'm running a loop. I'm starting from zero and I'll go till L. So for int i is equal to 0, i is less than l, i plus plus and now I am going to take out each and every character. So to take out the character, I am going to use the method caret. Now caret method will do what? Whatever character is available at that particular index, it will take out that particular character, give it to me in a character object. So char c is equal to s dot caret i. So, okay, my program was to check the number of vowel and consonant. So here I'm going to do what? In V is equal to zero, C is equal to zero. V will represent the count of vowels. C will represent the count of consonants. So char C is equal to C dot char at I. And let me write it as CN. It was doing a conflict there. So C is equal to S dot char at. So whatever character I'm getting, I'm getting it in my object of C now. So if C equals equals a or c equals equals e or c equals equals i or c equals equals o c equals equals u what i'm going to do here is cn plus plus it's not cn it's going to be v plus plus here because if i hit this block it means that whatever character i'm checking is actually a vowel else it is going to be a consonant so i'm going to do cn plus plus and after i am done with this loop i just need to print system dot dot print ln vowels count is v and consonant count is cn so i have written a simple program now let's try to run this so run as java application and you can see exactly the vowel count are 10 and consonant count are 10 so I was actually not aware of this fact. Just try it. Let me try to increase one more vowel here. Yeah, so it's catching 11 vowel and it's catching 10 consonants if I change the spelling. So this is how you can manipulate, use the length method, use the caret method, run it under a loop and find out the things you want. Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe for more upcoming videos.